This video talks about isotopes and their symbols. We know that an atom consists of a nucleus and the electrons, and in the nucleus we know there are protons and neutrons. We know that what determines what element any given atom is is how many protons there are, and because we can have two atoms that have the same number of protons but different numbers of neutrons, they can be the same element but have slightly different masses. We call these isotopes. So an isotope, isotopes are atoms that have the same number of protons as each other, but different numbers of neutrons. So they're the same element, because they have the same number of protons, but they have a different mass. Now we write the symbol for an isotope in this form right here, where x is just the symbol for the element. Now, so say, example, it's carbon. There would be a c in place of the x here. a is what we call the mass number. It's always an integer, and it's just the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. It's an exact number. And now the atomic number we give the symbol Z, and this is just how many protons there are. A lot of times you'll see Z, the atomic number, omitted because it's redundant. Once we know which element it is, we can just look on the periodic table and we can look, we can tell how many protons it has. Also, if we need to know how many neutrons there are, all we have to do is take the mass number minus the atomic number, and the difference will be the number of neutrons. In a neutral element, we're going to have the same number of electrons as protons. The only source of positive charge is a proton. The only source of negative charge is an electron. And if there's no charge overall, that's what it means to be neutral, then we have the same number of protons, or rather electrons, as, new, as protons. On the other hand, if we have more electrons than protons, then we have a negative charge, or more than one negative charge on that atom, called an ion. And the size of the negative charge will be the number of electrons minus the number of protons. On the other hand, if there are fewer electrons than protons, we'll have an overall positive charge. And the size of that positive charge will be the number of protons minus the number of electrons. For example, let's look at this isotopic symbol here. Sn is tin. And we would call this tin 119. That's how we would say this, tin 119. And OK, so what do we know about this? Well, we know that because it's tin, we can look up on the periodic table and see that it has 50 protons. That is, if we're not given the symbol in this form where the atomic number is already written. And see, we don't need that. All we have to do is look on the periodic table, look up tin, and that'll tell us there's 50 protons. And also, because we know the mass number is 119, which is the protons plus neutrons, if we subtract the atomic number, the number of protons, which is 50 in this case, the difference is how many neutrons we have, 69. So we know, and by the way, we know that this is neutral because there's no superscript written up here. If there were, it would be a charge, a negative or positive charge, which would tell us the charge. But if there's nothing, that means it's neutral. And because we have 50 protons, we know we have 50 electrons. So we, this is what we know about this. Let's look at another example real quick. Let's say we know some, an atom has 48 protons, 64 neutrons, and 46 electrons. What's its symbol? What's its charge? Well, first of all, knowing that there's 48 protons, we can look up on the periodic table, and we can see that that element with 48 protons is cadmium. So the atomic number, or Z, is 48. And because there's 64 neutrons, we're given this. We add up the protons plus neutrons, gives us 112, and that's the, the mass number, A. And so the symbol will be either cadmium-112, which is how we say this is cadmium-112, or we could put the 48 down there for the number of protons if we wanted to. Now the charge, because there are fewer electrons than protons, we take 48 protons minus 46 electrons, and the difference is a plus 2 charge. And so we would write the symbol for the, the ion, the, the thing with the charge, like this, cadmium with a plus 2 or 2 plus on the right.